Say hi, Rose. Hey. <laughs> Rose, Rose is getting her probiotic on. You don't need that, Rose. You have all the bacteria and probiotics and flora in your gut that you need. I'm just setting up the camera here to make sure it looks spiffy. I hope you guys are having a great day. It is Sunday fun day on this lovely South Florida Sunday evening. How are you feeling, Desi? Feeling good. Feeling good, I'm right? I'm really excited for tonight's dinner because yeah. I'm making my favorite stuff, pasta. Yeah, making pasta. It's going to be a super easy one. It's totally like store-bought putting together. You get it? But um, that's what's going on tonight. Yeah. Rose, have you said hi to everyone? Rose is too busy organizing my probiotics there from Seed. Watch her, watch her guys. Yeah. We don't want her putting anything in her mouth. I'm also running very low, and so if she wastes them, we're in a problem. Bradley, how are you feeling? Good. I'm good. You can't see, but Brad has the uh, NHL playoff game there. He's very interested in that game going on there. Uh, welcome to Sunday Night Suppers. It's been a really relaxing, kind of calm Sunday here in uh, the house. We're going to make ravioli with pesto and a simple salad. But instead of making the ravioli, I saw this at Whole Foods the other day. It's um, gluten-free almond flour ricotta. So I'm just going to kind of boil that. And I thought you guys wouldn't mind it because that will give me more time to uh, be on the uh, comments here and all that good stuff. Hey, Rose, it's time to start um, grating some cheese and stop throwing Daddy's um, symbiotic on the floor. Yeah? Oh, don't put it in your mouth. That's what I did. But I did it this morning already, right? So please leave a comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Wow, the picture is great. It used to be kind of like iffy. Do you guys have like <laughs> super good 4K quality here? This is really good. Rose is becoming a great grater and zester these days. Look at this. I want to help Desi. I don't want to lose any of my probes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm running See low. If there's any. I'm running low. Raise your hand if you've tried the seed probiotic. Total game changer. Rose, I got comments here. Your daddy's on it. Oh, Rose is doing comments now. Um, leave comments down below. Let us know where you're watching wow. from. They're Amazing, right? And HD. Cool. Yeah, wow. HD, 4K, LED. My, uh, my freckles. <laughs> it's 520 in the east. It's 320 in uh, Mountain, and it's 220 in Sacramento, California. Uh, hope you're having a great day. Uh, Sunday Supper, just like almost every live stream, is sponsored by our friends over at Thrive Market. I'll talk to you about Thrive, and I put all my favorite Thrive Market items in the description box. Really quickly, we love Thrive Market. They've been supporting the channel for six years. I've been a customer for six years. The gist is everything you would normally get at a Whole Food or your favorite grocery store rows is cheaper on Thrive Market. I just placed an order today for Rose. I got a, I got a bunch of your favorite chicharrones from Epic. I got Brad Raz's favorite egg and bacon bars from uh, Epic too. Um, but I'll go over my favorite stuff, but we have a promo code. First line in the description box, thrivemarket.com slash bobbylive slash bobbylive gets you 25% off your first order. A free gift. One of the gifts right now is a bottle of um, Primal Kitchen avocado oil with ranch. And it's 30 days risk-free. So if you don't love Thrive Market and you feel like I'm just like hyping it up, big deal. It's 30 days risk-free. You can cancel, get your membership fee back, but at least you get your uh, big discount and the savings are too legit to quit. Hey, hey. Okay, Rose is going to be quiet now because she has uh, some best-in-class coconut bliss ice cream in her hands. So I also want to make Desi a... A little salad from the garden, maybe? Because we have the vertical garden. That has no, some... let me make a salad with the bucalo and the leftover tomatoes. No, there's no more tomatoes. I have to throw them away. They were all... Oh? Um, yeah, yeah, they had like a mold and stuff on there. Okay. Make a nice salad. We have a beautiful little gem out there. I think it's dry. Desi doesn't... Most no, it's not dry. Here, so the garden is no, the vertical bad. garden, I refilled it. It's doing well. We got oh, beautiful... Yeah, Mama. Oh, uh, yeah. Any news on the app? A lot. I was just gonna say a lot of people are oh, asking really? about the app. Yes. Well, Desi, Desi will Good update news. you. Good news. Passed all the testing. So that's huge. So see, we're right? gonna be releasing it to um, the App Store very, very soon, within the next couple of weeks. Um, so uh, stand by for that. Um, and yeah. Yeah. There you go. What's the name of that vertical uh, garden? Let us let us grow. Let us grow. Uh, yes, Baba made it back all right, uh, which is very nice. And uh, can you set up a plate right in front of the camera? That'd be really nice if I had a plate just for you guys. That's a really cool idea. I like that a lot. Good uh, call there, Shorty Smooth. Mm -hmm. The app is free, 100% free. 
If you don't know about it, you can scan any barcode at any grocery store in the US or Canada, and it will tell you if that product is Bobby approved or not, or why, and give you other suggestions. It's firing on all cylinders right now. We're gonna do a soft launch for VIPs to make sure it's working, and then flood it out, and we hope we get thousands of uh, users in the first week or two. It's gonna be crazy. It could be crazy, the more the merrier. I mean, who doesn't wanna have an app that tells you how to buy the best quality, most nutrient dense products at the grocery store. It's not about Weight Watchers points. It's not about a nutritional score. It's saying, hey, this product like this uh, uses best in class ingredients, no cruddy oils. And if this was a bad one, which it isn't, it would say, don't buy that because of this, buy the other one because of that. So it's really like having me, daddy, shopping with them, Rose, right? Rose has never been so quiet. It's very strange. Okay, so I am going to make these, maybe Desi will give you a little tutorial. That's probably brand new, so it's not going to work. Oh, yeah, that's Try pretty, this one. That's brand new Desi will show you how the app works. It's very exciting. Please do Trader Joe's haul. Just did a Trader Joe's Check the video yeah. yesterday. So show, Desi's going to show you how it works. What do you say? Scan anything. Huh. <laughs> yeah. And if it's not approved yet, yeah. it'll say waiting for Bobby to approve it. Because there's what, 500,000 products at the grocery it's store? Still review, but Bobby's going to approve it very, very soon. Yeah. So, like, anything that pops up as under review, it will be approved very, very I'll, soon. I'll approve it in real time. The thing is, the app can't auto approve anything. I physically have to do that but it can deny or say no based upon if it has canola oil, natural flavors, cane sugar, stuff like that. But everything that could be good, I literally get to review it, which we've done tens of thousands of products. So it's gonna be very, very exciting. D Brown, $2 holler, what is for dessert tonight? Asking for a friend. You know what? I was thinking about making this. Uh, I don't even know if I can talk about it yet, but uh, Laird has new paleo brownie and cookie mixes come out with amazing ingredients, coconut oh, sugar, uh, functional mushrooms and zucchini in there. Un oh, there's no mushrooms, but they have zucchini powder, chia protein, and a little bit of, is there kale in here? Oh my gosh, there's kale in here too, that's crazy. D Brown, why are you coming to visit? That's the way to go to the bathroom, Rose. Yeah. Oh my God, Rosa is going potty with the ice cream in her hand. That's good for you, Rosa. <laughs> yeah, do you mind going to the garden and just harvesting that whole uh, gem? Okay. I hope it's not dried up. No, I mean, if it's dried up, then don't get it. But here, take this and take uh, scissors. There's one that's facing like you as you're walking out. It looks like a little baby gem. Rose, go with mommy. Hold on. Can you pull? Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm Chris. Gives a super chat of $10 with a dancing parent saying thank you. Arigato. Thank you. Rose, may pull your pants up. Hold on. Wait for me. Wait for daddy. Bobby, are you related to someone named Ronald? Ronald? Ronald Parrish comments. I no, I don't. I don't. Parrish, and I wonder if we're related. I've enjoyed your videos. Thank you, Ronald, my brother from another mother. Hopefully your own family does yeah, enjoy right? your videos. That's right. Nice. RT got some lion's mane mushrooms. Any recommendations? Yeah, just put those in your coffee or smoothie every day. Brad and I take functional mushrooms, one scoop in our smoothie every day. I'm huge on shrooms. They're really good for cognition and energy and focus. Very, very important. Huh. Jose, can I visit as well? Once we move into the bigger house, we'll have five bedrooms. We might have a little rotation. Rules of the house, if you come, obviously you get to do everything we get to do. You have to help clean and watch over rows. That's the only. What foods would you pack if you go camping? Um, probably a lot of the foods I took to Turks and the Caicos last week, um, but I would also bring a burner, my cast iron pan, grass-fed beef, um, some organic beans, a little bit of lard or ghee, and a bunch of uh, vegetables and bone broth to make like campfire chili. Mommy's coming, sweetie. Mary's down, loving it. Is there a difference in coconut sugar and coconut palm sugar? No, exact same. Sometimes see, people see palm. Yeah, mommy just went to the garden to get a salad. Okay. She's coming right back. You wanna go out there? Okay. Yeah, don't worry about the palm there. Let's Rose wants to come out with questions. you, Mom. Okay, well, two super chats. Other than when and walk this way. Is that a big weed growing out of there? Jeez. 
The vertical garden looks amazing. I don't know why Desi, the rest of the garden in the backyard is falling apart because Donnie took care of that and we don't have time for that. A bunch of super jazz. Yeah, two, two when you were out there. Oh, wow. And another just came in. Okay, so Kelly says, I love your I love your live streams. All of you are amazing. I so enjoy everything Flav City. Thank you, Kelly. Thank you, Felicia, for getting both of our cookbooks. Still a number one bestseller, five ingredient meals. Thank you. Sherry says, impossible meat is terrible for you. Good for the planet, not good for the heart. Yeah, very, very true. Good for the planet. I don't even know why that is the case because pasture raised grass fed beef is good for the planet too. So it's horrible. I agree, Sherry Bear. Rachel Murray back in the Rachel house. Rachel Murray! Rolling on the trigger what since the 7 a.m. this morning. Whoa. I wanted to jump on and say, hey, can't stay and watch, have a house full. I hope you got have some uh, keto wine open, Rachie. That sounds amazing. Joseph Finley back in the house. There too. he is. Hey, yo, Toons is suggest while on our road trip, you do a gas station food review. I've actually gotten a lot of requests for that. It's, inside, it's a super tough one, you know? But I, I've actually uh, heard requests of that. Um, yeah, some Kerrygolds will have the non uh, canola oil spread, but there's one with canola oil too. You want to avoid that one. Ray Farrell's in the house. I'm going to order more copies of the new cookbook. I'm losing count how many I got. Thank you, Ray. Ray's a big uh, buyer. Five ingredient meals, in case you don't know. All my shopping tips are in there. So I tell you how to buy the ingredients at the grocery store to make five ingredient meals that are healthy and delicious. And then if you're keto or diabetic, this is the one for you. Both cookbooks are 100% gluten free. But this one is low carb and diabetic friendly. This one has more carbs, but they're complex carbohydrates. Silver Wolverine is very uh, persistent on uh, tapioca syrup, your opinion. Oh, um, yeah, it's a paleo sweetener. It's much better than cane sugar. I'd still say limit it, just like a brown rice syrup. Uh, no, Brad and I are not related. Some people on Instagram think he's my son, which is very insulting to me. How old do I look? I mean, we look, look, look like brothers, I think. But no, Brad is uh, my brother from another mother. Barbara gives a super chat. Thank you, Barbara. Five dollars. Says Subway. love your reviews. Can't wait for Subway. <laughs> yeah, Subway's coming up very soon, Babs. Thank you when for that. You say he's your brother from another mother. They're gonna think you're related. <laughs> he's, we're not related. That means my friend, but we're very close. Uh, what do you think about organic canola oil Thrive has right now? No, Brian. Um, even organic canola oil or expeller pressed canola oil is a processed oil. The only oils I would get, and uh, Thrive Market has a great one, is grass-fed ghee. The Thrive Market one is great. I put it in the description box. Avocado oil, virgin coconut oil, and um, extra virgin olive oil. So right here, if you click expand on mobile, this is my link that gets you that awesome deal, 25% off your first order, a free gift, and 30 days risk-free, so you can cancel anytime you want. Here are the cookbook links right here. And here's all my kitchen gear and Rose's gear, but here's all my Thrive Market favorites. And it's not just food, it's also the vitamins I take every day, the C, the D, the zinc, the toothpaste, the hair and uh, conditioner. The conditioner has been sold out for three weeks. I'm really upset about that. And the face lotion is amazing, but Brad told me about this. The Thrive dish pods are one of the most effective non-toxic um, dish pods on the market. And Brad, can you talk about how toxic and chemical laden most can be yeah most can be some scary stuff definitely not what are you saying the uh, dish detergent yeah, stuff d dish detergent pods stuff like that yeah probably don't want to be eating off your plate after using those things yes. just my opinion just, just saying, saying. <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly uh, let's see i want a list of what desi takes everyone wants to know what you take what you eat and what you put on your face and everything Vitamin wise, I'm taking uh, vitamin D because even though living in Florida, I'm exposed to a lot of sun. Turns out I'm vitamin D deficient. Isn't that crazy? She just had blood work done the other day. Blood work done, I'm vitamin D, D deficient. So, Sharon, yeah, they do. Uh, it looks like with age, you don't like absorb Thank vitamin you. D GG. from the sun as, um, as you're supposed to. So, so I take that in the morning. You want to take vitamin D in the morning. Never take that at night because it will keep you up. And then um, I take um, vitamin uh, iron and <laughs> folic acid. Um, and uh, usually after lunch because uh, I'm also a little iron deficient. Th but my levels are pretty good. No, she wants another ice cream. No more ice cream, Rosa. And so then 
I take magnesium at night before I go to bed. That's it. Gotcha. Sorry, I'm Chris. This gives a super chat of $5. My mom, Rachel from California, love, love, loves you. She makes everyone subscribe to you. I've become healthy and eating better just because of your videos. Careful. Thank you. Careful. Thank careful, you, careful, Chris, careful, careful. for the $5 super chat. <laughs> Thank you. Moms are the best. Moms mm -hmm. always share and spread the love. And she keeps going for more. I got to move that ice cream outside. She's gonna ruin, she's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna, she's gonna ruin her uh, appetite for dinner. Come on, up here. We have to move that outside. It's too accessible. It's too. She knows. She Rose can open the freezer by herself now, so we're not putting a lock on it like a schmuck. We're just gonna like move the ice cream. Dinner with schmucks. Asks the important questions. Is that cookie dough CB? Duh. Coconut bliss for the win. Which one is that that Rose has? Uh, cookie dough. Ah. Cookie dough, the best ice cream known to man. This one is salt caramel chocolate. That's it. They're all, they're all good. They're all right. The the best sleeper one is uh, what's that? Amaretto cherry, Brad. Mm. Oh man, that one's good. Daddy's gonna have his uh, ice cream right now. You know, Kelly gives more. a super chat of five dollars. I just ordered Badger Sunblock. Will, Will your app also app show? No cookies being. <laughs> yeah, the Badger, it's right? Correct. Have you seen the? Uh, it's okay. It's very quick. Have you seen the um, sunscreen review today? Really, a lot of research went into that video. A little bit of a keto wine for the win. But she asks, will your app also show non-food items on the app? No, not to start. We're going to start only with food items because there's like half a million that we have to hit. And then once we build that database, yeah. move on to supplements, protein, sunscreen. Exact 350,000. <laughs> 350,000. Milwaukee Brewer says, <coughs> Desi shouldn't have an age-related deficiency given that she's only 21. Ah, great Correct. point. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's make some ravioli. Thank you. <laughs> I have a special salt that I only use now for seasoning pasta water. And it's the big jug from Costco. Because the price is right. And it's too expensive for me to use my Celtic sea salt that I cook with. But I'm not going to use bleach salt. So I had an like, epiphany moment. I'm like, wait, why don't I just buy that huge jug of pink salt from Costco? Yeah, so if I'm 21, I met Bobby when I was nine years old. Wow. Well, they call me a cradle robber then, right? <laughs> I spot the early talent. I'm like, I'm going to foster and that. You were also nine years old. Hey, childhood friends. And <laughs> sweetheart, we met on the playground. Junior high sweetheart. Okay. Yeah, what do you mean? Oh, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. Okay. <laughs> the water actually turns pink. It's cool. Buy the pink salt. You could cook with this if you want. It's not nearly as good as um, gray salt or kosher salt from. Celtic. Anything from Celtic salt is great, but I really like their gray salt, and I pulse it in the food processor to make it a little more fine, or their kosher from Celtic. What kind of sauce are you going to make? Pesto? That's it? Pesto. Just a, that's it. Well, I'm out of the um, dairy-free Alfredo from uh, Primal Kitchen. I don't think we have... Oh, uh, let me see. Maybe we have... I don't think I have another one. I don't one. have it. I just bought and uh, ordered some more online. Wow, the water is now pink. Isn't that cool? So, What's Sherry on? asks, does Dusty take K2 for vitamin D absorption? No, I need to order one of those. I've been slacking on that. It helps oh, with the. Oh, uh, helps? Oh. Yeah, it does help with that. Oh, gosh. Then program. Oh, Kebby uh, gives a super chat of $5. Um, oh, wow, good idea. Test your app for accessibility for the blind. I learned a lot from your videos. Can't wait to get started for healthier, on a healthier me. I'll put that on the list. What happened? Oh, it got cold? It's cold. You got your your finger got frozen in there, Rose. Is it too cold? So this is new. Capello's, who makes a great pasta, has five cheese ravioli. But it's made with almond flour. It's unbelievable. I wish the cheese was organic, but what are you gonna do? Um, so I'm gonna drop that and we're gonna toss it in pesto sauce, chill. Um, live stream is easy, so we'll answer a lot of questions and all that stuff. If you haven't done so yet, leave a comment down below. We have 1,000 lovely people hanging out with us. By the way, how's my audio today? Does it sound too loud? Is it too hot? And yeah, we only have two microphones, so me and Brad has got it. Uh, we probably should upgrade and get a third one, but I would need a different rig for that, which uh, Rose actually just pushed over my $300 tripod before we started and broke it, so I need to order a new tripod now. Javier gives a $5 super chat. 
and says, hi from Boston, thanks for the advice. And on that note, what would you recommend for a system cleanup before starting my keto diet? Um, Interesting. Ravioli? System, I, I, I no, I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't do anything to prep yourself for keto. I would do a moderate fat, not a high fat, a moderate fat keto diet with a focus on clean, healthy fats. No palm oil, no canola oil, no garbage, only grass-fed ghee, uh, extra virgin okay. olive oil, coconut oil, and uh, avocado oil. Thank you, sweetheart. That is it, right? You can get, the oils are the best deal are at um, Costco for those, right? As much as I love Thrive Market, it's a better deal on, uh, on uh, the oils. Thank you, sweetheart. Ken asks if you've ever visited New Zealand. No. We want to. We want to. I had a great time in Australia about three years ago. That was lovely. Is anybody from New Zealand? I'm sure we have New Zealand fans. Or has anybody on the live stream been to New Zealand? How much is one portion? Like almost that much, but not quite much, right? Like six or so. Medora gives a super chat of $5. It says, hi from Boston. I'm making your five, salmon six. patties. Nice choice. Making it for the third time. Two batches. Nice I salmon usually patties take it as a breakfast. Thanks, Two Bobby, batches. for the recipe. Thank you so much for that. No, I can't do too many at one time. One oh, time I made the mistake of putting too much almond flour in there. Oh my gosh. And she's not going to eat any food tonight. This is crazy. Oh, no. That Rose, no. No, no, no. No, not that. No, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, Matt, her, those are awesome and they make great leftovers. Uh, this is the brand of pasta, Capello's. If I want healthy Bobby approved or nutrient dense Bobby approved uh, pasta, I get Capello's or Taste Republic. If I want keto, I go for um, shirataki noodles from Pasta Zero or um, Hearts of Palm from uh, Natural Heaven or from uh, Trader Joe's. I don't like palmini because they have an acidic taste, which I don't like. Janice asks, how about organic unrefined red palm oil and asks for your opinion? Yes, that is the only palm oil that is actually really, really good for you. And it's funny you say that because one of our new obsessions is this keto cookie dough from Boo. And they use red palm oil with some of the best ingredients ever. And I just uh, got confirmation of a promo code for this on Instagram in the coming weeks. This is keto crack. It's unbelievable and the ingredients have never been better. Susie, speaking of, Susie gives a super chat of $10, says can't wait for the app. Shout out to the Boo products, the keto cookie dough people. My best bud is from New Zealand and we went there a few years ago, gorgeous. Oh, no, oh, no, no, no. Nice, Rose, this is a, uh, th that's your knife, that's your knife. Woo, very challenging tonight here. Thank God I'm making an easy dinner. Rose is making it a little challenging here. How long do I boil this for? Seven minutes and 30 seconds, oh wow. Yeah, well, I have different batches. I don't wanna, if I put too much uh, pasta in one pot, it really ruins it. I've done that before and it was expensive. It was a big mistake. I dumped three bags of almond flour gnocchi in there and they got ruined. I was like, okay, there goes $18. Boop, 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 seven minutes. All right, I can make the salad in the meantime. My sweet. Here, there's one more. One more. Yeah, you get up. Here goes. These are the beets from Costco. The organic pre packed beets are the best pre cooked beets I've ever had in my life. And remember a few months ago, they were on sale, and I told you to load up, and I did, and these haven't uh, been opened. I just save it, yeah. Hold on, always remind me, Rose. Danita says, I can't buy boo anymore because I just eat the whole jar in one sitting. No, well, I wouldn't do that. Honestly, I have two spoons a day. It keeps the doctor away. I just open this. Look at this, you guys. Wait for my promo code to buy it because I get you like 20% off. But this is insane. So it's red palm oil, pure monk fruit, no erythritol, uh, and then real organic peanuts, and a little bit of fiber. It's the most amazing keto. This is clean keto. Whereas most like keto fat bombs, like don't ever buy like Slim Fast or whatever. Those are made with palm oil and maltitol, gonna make you poop your pants, give you digestion issues. Super bad news. Give you digestion issues, you're gonna have to get the seed probiotic, right? Raise your hand if you've tried this. Seed product is amazing. Brad, copy and paste my promos page. Uh, thank God Desi and Brad built it on the website, flacity.com slash promos. Is it promos? No, 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 no. Yeah, I put all my promo codes there for Thrive Market, 
uh, seed, the air doctor, but this is the most effective probiotic, prebiotic on the market because it's two capsules in one. The outer capsule actually gets, um, gets um, diluted or, um, what's the word, absorbed? Dissolves, dissolves in your tummy and the inner capsule makes it to your colon, whereas most probiotics die in your stomach from the acids. This actually makes it all the way to your colon and the outer capsule has a bunch of fibers that's made from, pre uh, from uh, pomegranates. Amazing stuff. Use my promo code on the website or just use code Bobby. Yeah, yeah. Go to Seed website, it's great. Between Seed, the Keto Wine, which is on the website, Thrive Market, the Air Doctor to keep the house clean, you're good to go, Holmes. So Barbara asks, bought Ralston non-GMO farm purple rice yesterday. Delicious, yeah. but is it healthy? Thank you. Yeah, so purple rice is better than white rice, but to be honest, I would just avoid it. I mean, if you're gonna eat rice, I really think you should be eating um, wild rice. That being said, can I show you something very exciting? So we've been testing these. These are Flav City prepared meals that we have a very good chance of getting into Costco. So we're gonna pitch them a couple ideas. I don't wanna spoil all of them. But one of the ideas is meatloaf. This is keto diabetic, turkey meatloaf, sugar-free ketchup glaze, and keto cauliflower mash. Not only is it healthy, it's uh, gluten-free, keto, diabetic approved. Now, would you rather consume turkey meatloaf in a meatloaf form with a glaze or kid-friendly meatballs, like turkey meatloaf meatballs with ketchup glaze and mash. Quick informal poll, but imagine seeing this at a Costco with Bobby approved ingredients, organic uh, turkey, cauliflower, organic cheese, avocado oil, extra virgin olive oil, pure monk fruit. Gonna be very, very exciting. The, er the early results say meatballs, but two super, a lot of people say meatballs. Okay, good. Good to know. Thank you. That's what um, Instagram was saying too. So Kevin gives a super chat of $2 and says, what is your opinion on kefir? A uh, huge fan, but it's got to be sugar, no, no added sugar kefir or dairy free, no added sugar kefir. There cannot be any sugar in there. And Mohammed says via super chat of $5. Thank you very much. Hi. Having your salmon patties for dinner now, they're delicious, they are. Aren't they for, great? For organic milk, do you recommend one with omega-3 or the one without? Um, for the milk? Yes. No, do not get the omega-3 one. It tastes weird, but more importantly, these are all really crappy, low quality synthetic vitamins. It's not worth getting it. So never buy the milk with the DHA omega-3. It's crud, you guys. Anytime a food maker is fortifying it, they're using the cruddiest possible um, vitamins or stuff like that. My brain's a little slow today. <laughs> Sorry, I have a case of the Sundays. I actually fell asleep on the couch before for the first time in like ever. I never nap, but Desi and I went for a long walk with Roaster and uh, I came back and I was so tired. And I, for, for some reason, the last few days, I have really bad, bad uh, plantar fasciitis on my left foot, and it is throbbing today. So I just laid down on the couch. I used a Theragun that Jackie sent me, hammered my foot, and then fell asleep for about 20, 30 minutes. I wonder if anyone has any good natural remedies for plantar fasciitis. That's a great question. Thank you, Brad. <laughs> Feel well, free to chime in. My mom could have cured you. Uh, uh, Bring out the egg whites. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. egg whites. <laughs> it was gonna be Thank you, Rose. Your foot. I don't know if that helps with planter or per se. Garlic or I have no idea. Rose wants to do more. I think garlic uh, solves all problems. <laughs> all right, guys, if you're just joining, leave a comment down below. I do not have a Butcher Box subscription because, in my opinion, Butcher Box is just average. The chicken is not pasture raised, the pork is not pasture raised, and it's GMO. And the grass fed beef that I had was just okay. You're much better off getting the pasture raised chicken box from Thrive Market because it comes from a place called Cook's Venture, which has the most amazing slow grown heritage breed pasture raised chicken around. For steaks, I get them from Del Campo out of California. They're amazing. Um, I'll have a promo code probably this month on Instagram. And for pork, I get it from uh, Whole Foods because we actually have pasture raised. Otherwise, I would find a local farm or White Oaks pasture online. But 
when you use my link down below for the 25% off your first order, if you want to get that pasture raised chicken box from Thrive Market, it's about 120 bucks, which is seven and a half dollars a pound. Take off 20%, it becomes about six ish dollars a pound. It's a great deal. ThriveMarket.com slash Bobby Live. It's right below the video. If you haven't noticed, the only one actually cooking tonight is Rose. I actually, this is really great. I, I really like this. Soon, soon she'll do the whole thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Dusty, where's your blouse from? Free people. Free people. Oberweiss milk is just GMO milk. It's not even pasture raised, it's not grass fed. You want grass fed? You find a local farm like this one in uh, Boynton Beach, Florida, that sells 100% pasture-raised, grass-fed, raw milk that tastes amazing and because it's safely raw. It's got really good living nutrients in there. They also sell creme fraiche and grass-fed butter that's too legit to quit. It's, it's done. The, the timer just went off. Sherry gives a super chat of $2 and says, where do you get the vanilla bean ghee? The vanilla bean what? Ghee. Oh, that's from... Uh, Fourth and heart. They should have that one on, uh, on Thrive Market. So there's two kinds of ghee I use. I highly recommend, and I put it in the description box for my Thrive Market favorites. The Thrive Ghee, just the plain unflavored ghee, is one of the best values for ghee on the market. But then I splurge. I get a top shelf one called Fourth and Heart. It's a little more expensive, but it's... Um, it's uh, Cheaper on Thrive Market than Whole Foods. And they have this one. They have vanilla bean ghee that has real vanilla bean, and that's it. And I used it to make my keto um, French toast this morning. I actually made it the last two mornings. How good was that bread? Really, really good. I used keto-based culture bread. And I soaked it in a dairy-free coconut milk custard and then topped it with just burst blueberries and a hot pan and a sauce made of coconut milk and pecan butter, and it was one of the most indulgent things ever, but it was 100% diabetic friendly. It was cray cray. We had it two, two days in a row. Here's a nice little uh, trick here. If you ever want to thin out a pasta sauce, never use fresh water, use pasta water, because it, it has that yummy starch in there that won't dilute the saucy saucer tin. This is like uh, working at Italy or something right now, right? Nom, 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 nom. Judy asks, does ghee have to be refrigerated? No. It actually tells you not to refrigerate it. And it can last for like uh, three months. Room temperature, I go through it in about two weeks because we use a lot of ghee. Here's the thing, you guys. Unfortunately, in this country, the experts and the government have vilified saturated fats like ghee and um, coconut oil and stuff like that. And they tell you to eat heart healthy oils like canola oil. Listen to me very closely. Canola oil is horrible for your health. Soybean oil, safflower oil, sunflower oil, peanut oil are horrible for your health. They're highly processed, highly inflammatory, high heat refined oils that a bum bum are really bad for you because they cause inflammation with spiced cholesterol and other stuff like heart disease. But they also, because they're high heat, um, high heat processed, are loaded with free radicals that destroy the cells in your body. You're much better off having grass-fed ghee, right? Fourth and Heart makes a great one. Thrive Market, I just placed an order before we started, makes a great one because that's a saturated fat. And guess what? Your brain is made up of 60% fat the myelin sheaths that cover your nerves are made up of fat and you need good saturated fats that are unprocessed. Ghee is not processed. Extra virgin olive oil. You can cook with extra virgin olive oil, but then also have a finishing bottle too. Avocado oil and virgin coconut oil are healthy, non-processed oils that don't cause inflammation. And why is cholesterol so high in people? Because cholesterol fights inflammation. Exactly. Cholesterol fights inflammation. We eat an inflammatory diet. Really bad news. Okay, order up. So, Rose Honey Parish. So, sorry I'm Chris gives a super chat of $5. and says, what is your favorite ice cream and what ice cream was Rose eating earlier? Brad can answer that question and by far I completely agree with whatever Brad says. <laughs> she looked like she really enjoyed it. 
So she was eating Coconut Bliss, which is a uh, gluten-free, dairy-free ice cream, super clean ingredients, um, and they have a wide variety of awesome flavors. Hey, Rosie. Say that again. Were you saying me? Yep. Okay. Um, <laughs> Coconut Bliss. Coconut Bliss. Yes. It's hard to find for some reason. Uh, they have it at Sprouts Farmer's Market and what's the other place called? Natural Grocer. Jeez. Uh, here in Pembroke? I yeah. mean, I would just go on uh, Coconut Bliss's website, Store Locator, and plug in your zip. It is the cleanest ice cream, and it's dairy-free. It's relatively lower in sugar. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. There you go, Mom. Hmm. Andre 3000. Yeah, so that's my rant. The more I learn about plant oils that are highly processed, the scarier it gets. Go on Amazon Prime Video and watch a documentary by Dr. Mark Hyman, highly regarded doctor, called Fat Fiction. Fat Fiction, and it tells you what I just told you about oils, but everything the government tells you about the food pyramid and what to eat is wrong. Why? Because it's driven by money. It's not driven by health. There's no money when people are healthy. There's money when people are sick and they have to pop pills for yada, 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 but it all started because there's big money and big ag and they got in bed with the government. It's obvious. They're horrible, horrible for you. Yeah. Right? That looks amazing. My God. Let me dress my salad here too. Thank you. Look at Rose, a beautiful chop on those beets, Rose. Time, time to turn up that beet. So a lady says, just bought your truly natural vitamin C powder. Yep. Reviews state, it doesn't dissolve well in water. How do you use it? Yeah, I really haven't had that problem. I, I stir it really well. I use a coffee frother. So what she's talking about is what I call the best vitamin C powder on the market. Why? Because, do me a favor. Where's my vitamin C powder? Oh, here it is. Mm. Oh, here it is. Go in your cupboard. And if your vitamin C is made from ascorbic acid, little chef, then it's garbage. Ascorbic oh, acid is not bioavailable. This is made from acerola cherry, the most amazing source of vitamin C ever, kamu kamu and amla. Get this on Thrive Market. It's three or four dollars cheaper than amazon.com. And then also get the vitamin D and zinc that I put in the description box. Because I get all three of those on Thrive Market right here. So on mobile, you'll have to click here. On desktop, you go show more. Right here. These are the three I take every day because they're super good for your immune system and they're cheaper, especially the vitamin C on Thrive Market. Very, very important. But yeah, I just stir this with a um, coffee it's frother, it's but this is the best vitamin C on the market, which is why it's sold out for about four months this winter because I talked about it so dang much. But once again, Thrive Market is not only a sponsor of this channel and one of my favorite companies, they give us the hookup. So when you click this link right here, thrivemarket.com slash bobbylive, 25% off your first order. You can get all the vitamins. You can get the other stuff I put in there. You can get that ghee I talked about that's good for your brain. And a free gift and 30 days risk-free. So if you're like Bobby, it was just okay, just cancel. Get your membership feedback of $60, but at least try it out. So Brian asks, um, when you and Desi do eat gluten, do yes. you recommend a pill before you eat uh, so it helps out with your stomach? Especially after you had Taco Bell and Detroit-style pizza. That's a really good question. Um, we don't. We don't, but I, I actually think we should take enzymes when we do. Yeah, yeah probably. Those actually right. really help. Yeah, it's a great idea. I actually situation. have enzymes. I got um, <laughs> my friend Vani from uh, the Food Babe. She sent me some of her supplements, and one is called Easy Enzymes. And my stomach was killing after I had the uh, Detroit-style pizza from Prince Street. Oh, my God, yeah. I actually have been a hundred... Yeah, it makes Desi sleepy, but... Makes me weak. So I've been 100% fine after every fast food review, including Taco Bell. I haven't had any issues. Yeah, but right? you take a bite from each one. Yeah, but it actually adds up to that. It adds up when you order like 10 to 12 things. Yeah, but I had one full slice of Detroit style pizza and they load the crust with fresh mozzarella and my stomach was in knots. But if really? I, yeah, oh, come on, you saw me come home. I, I was tired, my stomach was hurting. But if I took an enzyme, that's a great uh, thing because I do actually want to go back to Miami and go to a restaurant called Carbone, and mm -hmm. I'll take the uh, enzymes then. Milwaukee okay, Burgers. Go to Lemon Street. Uh -huh. Lemon Street Pizza. Brad, I've read about Lemon oh, Street God. Pizza. In one second, because Milwaukee Burger gives a $5 super chance. Says, 
How's the meat quality on Chomp's turkey sticks? Turkey, I can't really speak to. Um, I think it's non-GMO, but you're much better off getting the grass-fed beef stick because it's pasture-raised and grass-fed. But I believe, I don't think it's organic, but I believe it's non-GMO. I probably wouldn't get that one. And I'd stick with um, the ep epic. Interesting. Denise, Denise asks, How is it your plantar fasciitis flared up after doing all of those fast food uh, videos? Question mark, question mark. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but it just flared up three days ago. Taco, maybe Taco Bell induced, maybe? I think Taco Bell. Does Taco Bell do me in? Maybe the cheesy gordita crunch is not good for uh, feet. Man, that food is so addictive but so good. You bite into that cheesy gordita crunch. Oh. It's, it's crack, man. It's crack. What are you going for? Do one more here. How is it? Oh, so good. Amazing? Can you oh, give, me yeah, a, so good. give me a bite. So these are the Capello's almond flour ravioli. So oh, my God. Oh, my God. Well, I can't tell they're almond flour. Like, how did they make that? I don't know. How'd they do it? That's good. Rose really wants me out of the way. Rose, are you going to be a moderator there? Excuse me, Rose. Oh, my gosh. You guys, those ravioli are too legit to quit. Rose, eat some more pasta with Mommy. Eat some more pasta with Mama. Oh, she, had hot, she had ice cream. We've been guilty of giving Rose too many snacks. No. And it ruins her appetite for, um, yeah, that's, uh, for dinner. It's terrible. We gotta move the snacks away. We, we do. We shifted all the pantry. The we snacks are gone. We gotta move the ice cream away. We gotta... She got the ice cream tonight, so no, we gotta work careful. on that. You don't want to this is you. great, you guys. Just make sure you don't overcrowd the pan. I did that one time with the almond flour. It turns to mush. But look at that. That's gluten-free. My two favorite fresh gluten-free pastas are Capello's and um, Taste Republic. Makes the most amazing. Right, this one's for you. Thank you. Oh, wow. I got you a fork. Rosa. Wow, with the... Mm, so good, man. Dang, with the red mm -hmm. wine? Red, red wine. This is the keto wine. So what does keto wine mean? That make no sense, right? Oh my God, that is crazy. That, with this brand, this is the most Bobby approved pesto at the store. Gotham Greens, Whole Foods has it. Because you'd be surprised, 90% of pestos use canola oil and sunflower oil, the cheap inflammatory oils. Can I have it? This is extra virgin okay. olive oil. So, it's, most people don't know, but it's kind of shocking to learn that most all winemakers add sugar to the fermentation process to speed along the winemaking process, which is why most wines have three and a half grams of sugar per cup. Mm -hmm. This has 0.3. But all winemakers, unless they're organic, could add up to 75 chemicals to the winemaking process. One of them is called so. Mega Purple, which is so bad for you. Oh my God. And when people get a headache, they think it's sulfites. Yeah, or like a ting tingle yes. in, the, in the throat here. Yes. I, I used to get that drinking wine yep. at a restaurant. I'm like, it's hmm, it's I not what... sulfites, it's the chemicals, and they don't have to tell you what's in there. This is Keto Clean Wine. It's organic, no chemical. But not only that, it's dry farmed, meaning there's no water added, which makes the vines go deeper into the ground and develops bolder flavors. This is amazing. So one cup of this has 0.26 grams of carbs. Most will have three and a half grams and it won't give you a headache. I swear, if I try other wines, I get this weird feeling, I get a headache. Try that. Brad, copy and paste the uh, promos link again. On our website, flavecity.com slash promos. I have a discount for, I think it's $12 off shipping for that. So I would try that. Of course, try Thrive Market. And when you're on there, ground it off. Try the seed probiotic. Your gut will help you. But also helps bowel movements, which I don't need help with. I'm very good with that. But skin and immune system. Seed has some other products coming out. I was talking to the CEO last week because she uh, is a really nice lady. Really cool products coming out. But use my promo code Bobby on seed.com. Yeah. Brad just copy and pasted it. And then Erica, she was pregnant. And you know yep. when you're pregnant, yep. you're constipated like the entire time. And she was. She had no problem. Yeah, Erica, I told her, get on that seed, girlfriend. Come so here, my love. Elijah gives a super chat of $5 and says, been doing keto for six months and I'm off two of my three diabetic meds. Wow. Keep up the great work. If I ever see you at Costco, get ready for a huge bear hug. I'm down, bro. I'm down. Keto is the diabetes killer. Why? Because you're starving your body of sugar and processed carbs and wheat and gluten. So the weight is just going to go down. 
right? Your diabetes numbers will come down. If you're overweight, if you have diabetes, this is the book for you. Go on Amazon, search Flav City Keto Meal Prep, 125 gluten-free keto meals that taste great. Because let's be honest, on keto, it can get a little boring. I want to know, is your doctor asking you what are you doing? Yeah, right? I hear that a lot. My doctor said he's never seen this before. Yeah, <laughs> yeah just keep prescribing statins and stuff, doctor. Don't tell people anything about nutrition. But if you are not overweight and just want to eat clean and maybe clean up your diet, five ingredient meals is not keto. There is a handful of keto recipes, but it's 100% gluten-free and paleo. And it's how to make very healthy five ingredient meals. But the kicker is, and why it's a bestseller, <laughs> I tell you exactly what to buy at the grocery store. I tell you exactly what to stock your pantry with and then how to come home and make the meals. And every recipe in both cookbooks we've done and all cookbooks I'll ever do have photos for every recipe. I never understand books that don't have photos. They have detailed macros. They have detailed dietary info like gluten-free, nut-free, uh, all that stuff, egg-free. But look at these meals. They're all five ingredients. But I tell you, hey, if you're going to make a certain meal, buy this at the grocery store and why. And if you can't find that product, how to avoid the common crappy ingredients in most of these uh, products. Even desserts. Desi has a whole dessert chapter that's gluten-free and paleo. You're going to love this book. Go on Amazon, search five ingredient. We changed the name, it's called Five Ingredient Meals. Go on Amazon, search Flav City Five Ingredient. And please do me a favor, if you bought this book, later on tonight when you have a minute, please leave an Amazon review. That would be greatly appreciated because they're really good for search rankings and all that stuff. But thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for making our cookbooks a bestseller. Coming this December is the newest cookbook, or book. It's gonna be called The Tasty Adventures of Rose Honey. It's actually a children's book with a recipe and really teaching kids the enthusiasm to get in the kitchen. Yeah. Right, Rose? Really the magic of baking. Yes. So it'll be a three-part series. The first one will be brownies or chocolate chip cookies. Chocolate chip cookies. The Tasty Adventures of Rose Honey. It's going to be great. Um, and we're very excited about that. We got the Costco prepared meals that hopefully will be coming to Costco in the fall. Bobby approved chicken fried rice, Bobby approved turkey meatloaf meatballs with mash and glaze, keto diabetic friendly, maybe the cauliflower mac and cheese from the cookbook. And if you're not a Costco member, we're going to try to sell those to other grocery stores and maybe directly to consumers too. We got the Flav City cookware set coming hopefully for Christmas. It's going to be the most unique cookware set that every home cook needs. It won't have pans and pots you, you never use. So lots of exciting stuff, awesome. but at the end of the day, it's all because of you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Thank you for being a Flav City fan. And thank you for taking the time to hang out with us and spread the word about Flav City. It's all about you. To need to ask, will Rose be signing copies of the book? Yeah, of course she will. Rose loves to sign books. Which is better, grass-fed grass milk or A2 milk? Oh, grass-fed by far. Absolutely. A2 is still factory farm milk, unless there's one brand called Alexander, I believe, at Whole Foods that is uh, organic. So that, at least that's organic and grass-fed. Can we get a review, Brett, of that? Uh, the pasta is pasta? amazing. They did a really good job with it. Amazing. And the Gotham pesto. Yeah, amazing. That with some Parmesan cheese and some keto wine. Boom, Rose. Boom. There's someone that asked a couple times if this meal is uh, diabetic friendly. No, this is not diabetic friendly because it's made with almond flour, which is, but it has tapioca starch in there. It's still a higher carb pasta, but it's a more nutrient dense, gluten free, complex carbohydrate. Tina pasta. asks, will the app work in Kroger's? Absolutely. Every grocery store, Kroger's. Thank you, Amy. I appreciate that. Do you recommend Thorn Vitamins? Yes, Thorn makes great vitamins. Desi really enjoys those. Yeah, that's all I take. Yeah, for Judy, those dude who don't have access to Costco, we're going to also sell to other grocery stores and hopefully directly to consumers. Costco's first. As soon as Costco chooses their entree they want, we'll take the other ones and get them right to the other grocery stores. I think this could be like, honestly, I don't want to talk too big, but I think this could be like my primal kitchen moment. I'm very excited about it. <laughs> because where else can you get a full meatloaf or meatball mash and sauce meal that's gluten-free keto diabetic friendly but most importantly it tastes good right i'm very excited for that i think the market for that is 
hot like this handle, and it's going to be amazeballs. Too hot to handle, too cold to hold. They call the Ghostbusters because they're in control. No. This is a nice, fun live stream, right? Kind of semi homemade ish here. Just hanging out, having a good time. You actually don't want to cook pesto too much because you, you want that raw flavor of the uh, basil. I'm going to put a touch of salt in mine. Unrefined. And I'm actually cooking this in the, um, this is the Flav City ceramic pan. Uh, it's a very, very high performing ceramic pan that's completely non-toxic. And it's going to be part of my unique cookware set that won't be all one, one finish or one kind of um, design. Lots of exciting stuff going on. It's kind of crazy. What brand is the ravioli? As Cherry, that is Capello's. Yep. Check this out, Cherry Bear. They just got this one at um, Whole Foods. It's extremely impressive. Capello's makes all great almond flour um, pastas. Oh, hot. I'm going to dump this, get a little hot in here. What is the cheese? Is it almond also? No, no, that's real cheese. No, that's, real cheese. that's real cheese, sister. I wish it was like dairy free cheese, but they're not quite there. All, yeah, oxalates on oxalates. Vicky yeah. asks, where to buy keto wine? I will link you. Brad's got the link. It's only online. It's called Seco Wine Club and my promo code, which Brad will paste, gets you a big discount on um, shipping. You cannot buy keto wine at the store. And I'm telling you, even if you don't drink wine because you get headaches and stuff, you will not get a headache from this, and it's very high quality wine. We were supposed to go to Tuscany for harvest season last year, but obviously Corona changed that. But there's a really cool dude who's the winemaker, I forgot his name, in Tuscany. And he oversees everything, and he only uses the best organic grapes. And the stateside contact is my dude, Matt. And he is just serving up some of the best wine, and I'm more than happy to help promote it. Okay, now it's time for daddies to have some. I almost feel like we don't even need a salad, but it's okay. Look, I haven't had ravioli in ages because all the ravioli at the store is made with gluten. And to be honest, it kind of sucks. So look at that, you guys. Let me just show you extreme close-up, Wayne's World style. I'll show you the ingredients, too, just so you can see what I'm talking about. But look at that. Who wants to open up? Who's watching right now? Gene? Oh, it's not keto. Gene can't have it. Huh? Who wants that? Let me show you the ingredients here. So, once again, this is the box here. But look at the ingredients. The actual ingredients are ricotta. Now, it's not organic ricotta, but it's very hard to find that. But the pasta is made from almond flour and... Or else, here we go, tapioca flour. That's why it's not keto or diabetic. It's relatively high-ish carb. To be honest though, it could be higher if it was made of all wheat, but the shell is made with almond flour and tapioca flour. Do you see any cruddy ingredients at all? No. Do you see carrageenan? Do you see gluten? Do you see preservatives? Do you see nasty cheese? No. Very, very impressive product. Very impressive. That with some uh, keto red wine. It's like, forget about it. What? Viviana says it looks gangbusters. It is G to the B. Oh my God, that with keto wine? We're having a good time. We're having a good time. I don't want to stop at all. Here I come, America's Got Talent. <laughs> mm. Is anyone going to the uh, South Beach Food and Wine Show next weekend? I'll be there with Brad Bry and Erica. Friday night, we're going to the first session of the Burger Bash. And then I believe we're going to the best of the best. That's really good, Brad. No, it's back to back. It's two events back to back. I'm not driving down more than once. Oh, and then afterwards, if you want to meet us, we're going to go to where, Brad? 11th Street Pizza. Tell people about 11th Street Pizza. I saw a review on it on uh, Instagram and went there, not 
knowing what to expect, and it was the best thin crust I've ever had. It was really special. Who reviewed it? <laughs> the, uh, if any, I don't know if people here will know the show, but the dude, uh, Dave Portnoy, does the pizza reviews all over the U.S., so, yeah, that was amazing. Pizza. You showed me a, a picture. It looked amazing. So if you want to meet us uh, in Miami on 11th Street Pizza, I'm not sure what time we'll be there, but I'll, I'll share it on Instagram. It'll probably be, we could actually go early and go there first, to be honest. Mm -hmm. We could head out there. Otherwise, it's going to be super late. Susie says Seco doesn't deliver to all states. Yeah, su certain states because of liquor laws. Maxine asks if you're going to finish that plate, Bobby. <laughs> no. It's too much for me. And I want to have a salad with it, too. So I'm just going to take my really good extra virgin olive oil here. This is the olive oil you don't want to cook with. I earlier said I cook with extra virgin olive oil, not like top shelf finishing oil. I buy the 100% Italian extra virgin olive oil from um, Costco. <laughs> and the reason why I do that and why some people might be like, Bobby, you're not supposed to cook with extra virgin, I heard. is because I want completely unprocessed oils. And when you go from extra virgin to olive oil, it's processed and refined with some heat. And that's when you start creating free radicals that are really bad for your body because they damage your cells. So I'm not talking about cooking with this per se. Get a bottle like, if you're not a Costco member, you can get a bottle of um, California Olive Ranch or Lucchini. Those are cooking olive oils. Danita I, gives a super chat of $5. Thank you, Danita. I saw you earlier. Nice to see you, my dear. And I want this to be an acidic salad because a very rich pasta. Nicole says, we know Dave. I'm from Connecticut. Dave, the Dave Portnoy. I'm well, from pretty Connecticut. Some of the best pizza. pretty famous, yeah. Yeah, he's mildly famous. Some of the best pizza in USA. Viviana would agree with you on that. Connecticut. Pepe's, I think she said, is her favorite. Well, I, I, right now we're talking, we heard Connecticut. Obviously, New York and Jersey. New Jersey. Have amazing New York, pizza. Yeah. Those three are probably the best places for pizza. Yeah. We went to Prince Street Pizza in Miami uh, last weekend. That was really good. It's just too bready. Wow. It's really good. That's phenomenal. What's going on there? Lala Girl says, hashtag bring Baba back. <laughs> I know, right? I know. Let's start a campaign. Uh, 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 go fund me. Campaign. We clearly need her. Let her go back. Let her enjoy her garden for a little bit. Let her miss uh, Rosie. The uh, Instagram fame. The Instagram fame. She's famous. Okay. Oh my god. She got recognized a couple I times. I think she got. She greeted, got greeted more times in Florida. Yes. Than she got greeted in Bulgaria uh, in a year. <laughs> the chats have broken out into a uh, pizza commentary. <laughs> That's been known to happen. What's wrong, Rosa? Rose, come over here. We're building the tower, then she started crying. Come here, Rose. I have more pasta for you. Alana says via a super chat, I'm pregnant and have GI issues. Any suggestions for snacks and stuff for someone allergic to coconut? So hard to find stuff. Yeah, it's tough because a lot of stuff that I recommend has coconuts. Um, GI issues. Hmm. Mm. Just stop eating any um, gluten. And dairy for the most part. Well, well, yeah, that's... And inflammation like karate oils and sugar. If you get rid of like those four things, you're gonna fix your GI issues. Yeah, I'm trying to think of healthy snacks for that. Um, obviously, uh, Epic Bars, Peely Nuts from Laird Superfood would be great. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. What it's else? almost like what to avoid, not what to Yeah, avoid. true. Because you can eat so many things, but the key is what to avoid what's causing your GI issues. Hey, Rosa. You know? Pasta. You're not going to fix your issue by adding more things to, to your diet. You're probably going to fix it by removing certain things. What's going to get her? Mama. Can I give you some more ravioli? Mama. Hmm? Here, Mama's going to give you some ravioli. Look at this, Rosa. Mm. You want more? Oh, Publix has the uh, shiitake noodles. Want to try the beets? Bogo this week. Oh, nice. it's Bogo? Nice. Pasta Zero by... Uh, Patricia says epic jerky is amazing too. Yep. It's all incredible. Wow, John says you have made my family excited about eating healthy. 
Not easy to do. Yeah. Well, it is health. It is exciting because nowadays you have so many options. You're not sacrificing any flavor or anything, right? No, I tried that years ago. 20, 25 years ago. Very different story. What does she need, man? Kelly asks, what are some healthy and tasty kids multivitamins? Um... I have a video about that. Search Flav City Multivitamin. I believe Garden of Life made that list. But it's a very small list, so go check that out. That video has men's, women's, and um, kids. A couple people say maybe she's tired. Maybe. Does Baba mean grandma in Bulgarian? Correct. Mm -hmm. To be honest, multivitamin is nice, but a probiotic even if you don't think you have issues with like bowel movements, it goes way beyond that. A probiotic promotes healthy flora in your tummy, which is the backbone to your health. And I don't recommend wasting money on most probiotics because the problem is they dissolve in your tummy and the stomach acids kill them. But it doesn't happen with this one. The one from Seed is a game changer. Everyone I've turned on to it is loving it. That's why I've partnered with them now for four months. They love it um, because it works. All right, it's a symbiotic actually. So once again, go to Seed website, use promo code Bobby for 15% off. You're gonna love it. They don't have that one on uh, Thrive Market. This is so good. Way better than I thought. Yeah, the ravioli are Way better than I thought? You didn't think it'd be that good? Well, no, to be honest, no. I haven't had ravioli in ages, but when you think of alternative ravioli. It was really good. Oh. From the, the, Brad's part of the Clean Play Club over there. Brad's known for scarfing down food really quickly. It's a sign of enjoyment. Mm. Kathy asks, when is the le lemonade coming out? Mm. Just got an email that it's delayed because of COVID. Um, end of June. <laughs> Keto diabetic lemonade and pink lemonade powder with amazing ingredients. None of the crap filler ingredients. You're going to love that one. Milwaukee Burr says, Rose needs some secco wine. <laughs> Uh, protein powder, vegetarian. I only uh, drink two kinds of protein powder. One is from Layered Superfood. One is from Four Sigmatic. Those are the best around. Viviana, coconut. <laughs> I know, right? For dessert. No, um, I don't think Thrive has this ravioli. Uh, it's brand new. Mm -mm. So red, is, red is not my little bro, no. <laughs> Wait, so where do they get this then? Where do people get it? Directly from Capello's and Whole Foods and that's it? Yeah, I would just get it at Whole Foods. Uh-huh. Wonder if it'll be anywhere else. I don't know. Good question. Mm, Sugar duck eggs. intake daily when dieting. Don't say none. Um, Sugar intake. Well, I'm going to do a video very soon where I'm going to wear a continuous blood glucose monitor and eat not only my normal diet, but I'm going to eat like my coconut bliss ice cream. I'm going to eat my keto bread every day. What else did I say? I said bread. Ice boo. cream and what? Boo! Uh, I'm gonna eat. Oh, I'm, sure mm -hmm. I'm gonna eat like um, yeah, like a typical American diet, but do it bobbyfied, and prove that if you eat clean with the right ingredients, your blood sugar won't go up. So it'll be something like I ate bread, you know, pasta, ice cream every day, and my blood sugars did not go up. It'll be really fun. Well, bacon is not unhealthy. It's factory farm bacon. So yeah, get pasture-raised bacon. Try to order from a really good farm, like a white Send oak pasture. Send me an email, Caitlin. They used to have great pasture-raised pork on Thrive Market, but they got rid of it. But it was from White Oaks Pasture. Mmm, delicious. A couple people are asking about a water filtration system. So to that, I would say you should probably test your water first to see what in your water, you know, is less than ideal to be putting in your body. And then from that point, go and find one that specializes in filtering out what you need. Yeah. I mean, I use one from a small company in LA. Countertop system, Berkey is good. Aqua True is good. Um, yeah, a ghee oil. Fourth and Heart, the same company who makes that ghee makes a ghee oil. That's amazing. They have it on Thrive Market for cheaper than Whole Foods. Oh, Char Troyer. There she house. is, Char Troyer from Michigan. Michigan. Thank you for that, Char. Great to see you. Yeah, I'm going to do a blood test for cholesterol too. 
Because so many people are like, Bobby, your cholesterol must be through the roof. You eat so much fat. And they just don't understand that fat doesn't cause cholesterol. Inflammatory food does. So yes, I'm going to wear a continuous blood glucose monitor and get my cholesterol checked too. Patricia asked, do you recommend using Brita? To be honest, Brita is not that strong it's at garbage. all. Zero water is not good. It's bare basics. You really have to get a much better filtration system. Does ghee have to be organic? It's so expensive in Canada. Yeah, otherwise it's GMO. You really want to get organic or grass-fed. I feel bad for you guys in Canada, I know. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Guy, says Patricia. You are welcome, Patricia. Oh, nice. North Carolina Walmart has Capellos. Is refined soybean oil healthy? No soybean. Refined means even highly processed than normal. You got to get rid of that. So, all right, guys, that is it. Uh, super chill Sunday supper. Uh, but it was fun because we get to hang out and do more questions. Once again, try Thrive Market out. We love to show Thrive Market some love because they're a huge supporter of the channel. Get the discount, right? On mobile, click here with that arrow. On um, desktop, just click show more. Thrivemarket.com slash Bobby Live slash Bobby Live gets you 25% off your first order, the free gift, and it's 30 days risk free. All my Thrive Market favorites are right here. Food, the vitamins I talked about, right? This one right here, the best in class vitamin C. It's right there. Shampoo, conditioner, and their dish, uh, dish pods, which are fantastic. And the cookbook. If you want to check out the new cookbook or the old one, just go on Amazon, search five ingredient meals or keto meal prep. Check it out, you guys. So awesome time hanging out. That pasta is the bomb. I said I wasn't going to finish it, but I might because I can't stop eating it. But that is it. Uh, we'll be back next week. What was your question, Laura? I don't know the schedule yet. Uh, Brad and I have a list of some really good videos. So if you haven't seen, today's was video was the sunscreen review. 90% of the sunscreens on the market are chemical-based and leaching into your skin. They can cause major issues. You want to get mineral-based sunscreen, so watch that. And then the video Saturday was Trader Joe's. A Trader Joe's review, right? That was there also. Brad, of course, Brad yeah. finished his plate yeah, immediately. Absolutely. absolutely. I ate in about 10 seconds. Mm -hmm. Three or four is nine. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Ah, Thank okay. you, Jenny. So this person's been asking yes. a question. I, I missed it. Apologize yes. for that. But free to forge non-GMO fed duck eggs. All good? good. Question mark. All good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yes, Bobby is not a doctor or nutritionist. But yes, go to those people who suggest eating the food pyramid and who suggest eating 53% of your calories from carbs so you get fat, sick, and nearly dead. You keep doing that. See how that works out because based upon what's happening in this country, it's not working out too well. And based upon the feedback from our followers, uh, our advice seems to be working a little bit better. Uh, that's it. I will tell Rosie to have a good night. Get that ice cream craving going. Uh, that is it, my friends. For Bradley P., myself, for Rose, for Desi, hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace from South Florida. Have a great Sunday night. Later.